how much math do you actually need for aerospace engineering? Aerospace engineers make big, solid things fly, float, and glide. And they do it using all the various kinds of math and physics that calculate how to defy gravity safely, precisely, and efficiently. But how does all that college math translate to the workplace? In university, aerospace engineers need to pass calculus one, two, and three differential equations in linear algebra. And in some programs, they also take probability and statistics in practice. This math comes in handy when aerospace engineers use calculus and linear algebra to calculate forces acting every which way upon aircraft wings, fuselages, and other components. They use matrix algebra and partial differential equations to do finite element analyses simulating effects of stress and vibration. Differential and Navier-Stokes equations to analyze airflow patterns in lift, drag, and turbulence. Kepler's formulas are particularly special to aerospace engineers and orbital mechanics, using a combination of geometry, algebra, and calculus to calculate satellite orbits, escape velocities, and trajectories. But what do you do if you want to be an engineer and the math doesn't come easy? Don't give up. Plenty of great engineers have struggled through multiple calculus fails and come out stronger on the other side. But don't struggle without a plan. Use great math channels like 3 Blue One Brown and Jeff Hansen to better understand the concepts and use class resources or ChatGPT to work for at least half an hour of practice problems every day. If you believe you can do it, you can make it happen. Follow Future Chemie for engineering info daily.